Alright, yo, what's up guys? So basically, I know I said I was gonna make longer videos, but I don't feel well at all right now. I've got something wrong with me. I don't know what it is. So I'm gonna be making a bit of a shorter video today, but don't you guys worry because as soon as I feel better, I'll be back to normal. So hopefully I feel better tomorrow. But yeah, as you guys can see by the title and thumbnail, today's video is how to farm 200 Q yen a day. As you guys know, I have the series on the channel where every time I can farm a certain amount a day, I go ahead and show you you guys because I know that it's not going to be the same for everyone because you have to be as good as me to get this much yen but I feel like the tips will still help out everyone in general just so you can get yourself more yen and then if you do have like 190 fighters then you'll be able to do this as well so what you want to do is make sure you're fighting the big boss and you want to make a tiny task that alt cancels, okay? So I just put my mouse on the attack button, I get tiny task open, and I go ahead and I hit F8, click on the boss, click my auto clicker, and then as soon as my Claren is about to use her ability, because she has the longest attack time, as soon as she uses her ability, I retreat and put my fighters back on, and it still does the damage for the ability, it's just it basically skips the animation of your fighter doing its ability. So it actually makes it so you can kill the boss faster. As you guys can see, you just saw like 4 trillion damage right there. That was the ability, but there was no animation, so it went f forward or it went through even faster. So that's how you can make this tiny task, and then we just go ahead and do like one more of these, I guess, and then wait for the Clarence to be about to use her ability, and then we go ahead, retreat, put our cursor back to where it was at the start, and then hit F8 again, and that is the tiny task done, and it will go ahead and repeat that over and over again. And then that's basically how you can auto farm. I'd also recommend getting some yen boosts and damage boosts from the time trial shop. They will definitely help a lot as well. So if you want to go ahead and grab them, then make sure you do, as you can get like 200 shards per time trial now, so it's pretty crazy. So make sure you guys go ahead and do that, and if you want to go ahead and get the shards, go ahead and make sure you get some collector fighters that are just like this and um yeah basically just farm 24 7 get whatever game passes you can make sure you guys stay tuned as well because i will be doing game pass giveaways very very soon so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but yeah that's pretty much it for today's video hopefully you guys did all enjoy if you did make sure to drop a fat like subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one peace out guys